Hey everybody, what you're looking at here is a fully working two-bit adder with connected to my Arduino with the LCD output. Two-bit registers here. These are ones in the front and these are labeled two. So right now all the switches are off. All switch, four switches are off, so we've got zero. You can see we've got one and two or I can turn off the ones register and turn on one, two, and that gives me a two as well. Um, and three and four, or close the ones and two twos also gives four. Five and six. And here's an overview of the circuit using three CMOS IC chips. I've got an exclusive OR right here, an AND chip right there, and an OR chip there. An important thing is to connect all your IC ground connections to Arduino ground. That's very important for stability. And I've got digital pins 8, 9, and 10 assigned to some one, some two, and my carry out. Now first I want to send a shout out to Ben Eater, who's really the inspiration behind getting this full adder going. I'm putting a link in the description to his video on YouTube about his full adder, um, actually using four bits. But the main um, crux of this is to get this carry out going into the next circuit. You can see here it comes out of the OR chip, and then you want to have that coming all around, as I'm showing with arrows, into the next um, interface between the one of the AND chips and, one, and the second exclusive OR chip, which in the first circuit, you can see that connection there goes to ground. But with all of these carryouts, what you're going to do is be connecting it right in there in an input between the exclusive OR and the AND, and then that gets factored into the second circuit. Now I'm using all CMOS ICs, that's complementary metal oxide chips. You want to keep that all in the same family. I'm using the 4000 series, um, or you can use TTL transistor chips as well. Um, the CMOS um, have better energy performance. Got a 4030B exclusive OR, 4081B AND, and a 4071B OR. So you can check that out. The best way of understanding this before getting into the Arduino code is to, you got to come up with a truth table as to how you're going to set up your Arduino code with the adder. So the best way of understanding this is to just, for me, is to visualize um, these switches being on or off and what happens as we flow through the schematic. And it's pretty time consuming to do that, but just do that on your own, like pretend uh, switch A is closed, for example. Then what happens in terms of, you know, the exclusive OR, that would be true. And then, you know, you just follow it all the way through um, with each example, and that'll give you a good understanding of this schematic. And it's really helpful when you're setting up your truth table. What I've done here is I've set this up um, with sum one, carry one, sum two, and carry two this being carry one, and carry two um, is what I'm going to be using as an input on my Arduino board. So I've underlined the inputs on my Arduino, which are going to be sum one, sum two, and carry two. Those are the most important ones. And then going down the values or the results here, and then you can come up with a truth table about what's true and false. Just I'm going to pick just one down here, for example. So a five uh, numeral is going to be a sum one and a carry of one. So, you know, in, in the Arduino code, you'll see I've got sum one going to pin eight and carry going to uh, digital pin 10, for example. So when those are one or high and the others are zero, uh, we're gonna output a number five.